Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm just coming on to share some news with you. Um, quite a lot of my friends and people on Facebook will already know that I was due to be published in a magazine. Um, this was made possible through my work with Handy Hippo, who I do DT work for, along with lots of other ladies. Um, there's Kazzy Kins, one who's K, there's Jackie Douglas, and there is Dee from Black Cat Crafts, and in the past we've had the lovely Melissa Gibson, we've had Teresa Carr, we've had Marina Renwick, we've had Gareth Crafter, we've had, um, have I missed anybody out? And there was a lady in um, Germany whose name I can't pronounce. Um, <laughs> and we've all, um, for quite a while now, been doing um, DT projects here and there for Handy Hippo, and um, they are quite a large um online craft store and their web address is www.handyhippo.co.uk and um i actually got the opportunity to do some projects for them and it was published in simply cards and paper craft this is the new september edition just let me make sure it's focused hold on a minute yep and in with it you'll know which one it is because you get this free die which is like a flower die so let's just miss out the rest of the pages they're all boring <laughs> i'm actually on the and um, where is it i'm actually at center spread i've got double page center spread i'm absolutely thrilled can't believe that i'm actually at, there's my mug shop there you go amanda charlesworth um Amanda Charlesworth catches summer vibes with a shabby chic twist to create stunning wall art using scrapbooking products. Um, so there we go. I'm absolutely, I can't believe it, to be honest. Um, I'm not the world's best crafter. I'm nowhere near what I call an artist. Absolutely nowhere near. Um, so the fact that I've had this opportunity when I've only been crafting seriously for a couple of years is thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Um, so I want to thank um, Eda Jane and Handy Hipper for this opportunity and um, yeah go along and buy it even if it's just fat day <laughs> so it's a bit of a show off really a bit of a brag <laughs> that I've got published and uh, yeah I, I'm, I, I, I'm quite um, thrilled and uh, really really excited it, it's a big thing for me there's other ladies that have probably been published loads of times you know because they're um renowned or very accomplished crafters but for me this is really really um special and um yeah so i'm really i feel quite proud um so this will be getting saved Mind you, I save out magazines anyway. I take what I normally do is I normally take the die out and then put the magazine on the shelf, and I don't always read them. I will admit, but this one's worth reading because I'm in it. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I just created two twelve by twelve um, scrapbook layouts that could be used as wall art. Um, I'm the uh, one that they. Um, seem to give the shabby sheet projects to on the DT so that's what I was asked to do so we've got one of my little handmade flowers here and it's one of the folded flowers and I die cut the petals with the Tim Holtz um, tattered florals die and then I cut I did do a video on this actually um, but the quality was poor I cut burlap shaped leaves and then I put a round of burlap underneath and then a rosette and a paper flower and just off centre I tied some um, seam binding and it's got pearl sprays coming out of it so um, that's pretty and quite a little bit different um, so yeah I was quite pleased with that and then this one is mostly using the stickers and tags and the um, other things that came with the um, authentic um, paper stack that they sent me so there you go so if you get it if you're a subscriber of it or you normally like me look for the ones of the free gifts go and get this uh, it is issue 140 it's September's but they're out now simply cards and paper craft very exciting thanks for watching bye for now